hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'll show you how to make this kimono jacket with chain embellishment at the back and ruches at the side so let's get started All right guys, so for this project, here are the materials that we'll be using. First of all, I have my Ankara fabrics here and you need about three yards for this project, okay? And here I have a plier, you need a plier for this project, okay? So get a plier. Then I have a chain for the embellishment at the back, okay? So get a chain also. All right guys, so here is the material that I will use for this project and it's in pieces, okay? I have them in one yard each, okay? But I'll make do with it, all right? So here guys is one yard of fabric and I'll just go ahead and fold it into two, all right? So I'm folding it lengthwise. And here guys, I'll just pick the other one yard and I'll fold it into two like I did earlier on and I'm going to just go ahead and place them on each other just like I'm doing right here. So one will serve for the front and the other part will serve for the back piece, okay? So here guys, I'll just go ahead and insert the shoulder measurement and for this project it is 14 divided by 2 will give us 7. So I just indicated 7 there and the next thing to do is to insert the sleeve length and i have about nine inches for the rest of the fabrics here so i'll just go ahead and use the rest of the fabrics for the sleeve of this project okay so as a whole i have about 16 inches to 16.5 inches on this material so i'll just go ahead and use the whole fabric okay so basically what I did was to insert the shoulder measurement first of all and next the sleeve length, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to insert the shoulder slant, okay? So what I'll do next is to place my tape rule here and I'm just going to come down by one inch for our shoulder slant, all right? And the next thing I'm gonna do is to draft out the neckline. So for the neck, width i'm just going to insert 3.25 and you can just go ahead and use 3.5 all right but i use 3.25 and i'll just connect the shoulder slant to that point remember that what we are making is a jacket so we do not need to insert the neck depth okay so i'll just come to this part and insert our sleeve opening so you can just measure um your where the sleeve is going to fall on and you measure the circumference of that area to let you know what to uh what to measure out but um for this project i'm just going to be using 10 inches so 10 inches to 12 inches is okay basically all right so i'm just going to use 10 inches for this project here on the sleeve opening that we have here, all right, I'm just going to come here what by two inches, okay, and I'm going to indicate it like so. And right from that two inches, I'm just going to connect it like this and connect it downward on a straight line, all right. And right here, guys, I'll just go ahead and create a curve around this angle. And the next thing to do guys is to create the opening for our jacket and what i would do is to follow what we have for the neck width which is 3.25 so you can just go ahead and follow the 3.25 and draw it at the end or you just follow it all the way down like straight down so what i would just do right here is to use the 3.25 and I'm just going to follow that line on a straight line to create a jacket opening, okay? So I'll just follow that line all the way down. And after doing that, I'll just go ahead and cut it out. Guys, remember that both the back piece and the front piece are together right now. So we are cutting both of them together. 
after cutting out the excesses here's what we have here the front and the back all together all right and the next thing i will do is to measure out the desired length for this kimono right so i'll just go ahead and place my tape rule at the shoulder and i'll measure out the desired length that i want for this kimono jacket so right now here is the front and the back piece okay so what i'll do is to work on the back piece first and i will fold the front piece aside so we're going to be working on the back piece first of all so here we have the two pieces from the back okay and one thing we are going to be doing is to create a loop for our chain embellishment okay so to be able to do that we we'll need to cut out stripe for our loop and also stripe for bias in order to hold in the loop okay so we are going to be cutting out a long stripe of fabrics that we are going to be using as bias for the back okay and also we are going to be cutting out uh, a long stripe for loops okay and for the bias i have about 1.5 inches so the next thing we need to do is to create loopholes at the back okay and i have already sewn the stripe and cut them into small small pieces to serve as the loop and that is what i'm connecting to the back piece here so just go ahead and fold your fabric into a stripe and we're going to cut it into small pieces and that is what we are going to be you know putting on the back piece like so and after attaching it at intervals all right the next thing we are going to do is to get our fabric bias like so and we are going to be placing it right side facing right side after attaching your loops to the back okay and to finish it off we are going to be using the bias to turn it okay so i'm just going to place it sew it or stitch it all the way down and after stitching it i'm just going to you know turn it over like so just like the way you would um stitch your normal bias all right so that is what i'm going to do now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and do that and here guys is the back after attaching the loops and also finishing it with the bias you can see how it's looking at this moment and the next thing we are going to do is to flip the back piece to the right side and we are going to take our front piece and align it with the back piece and after aligning it we are going to be stitching the shoulders together so here I'm just aligning the front and the back piece together and you will notice that the front piece has an excess of half inch or right here and that is because we've already worked on the back piece so we are going to be using that half inch later on so I'll just take it to the sewing machine right now and I will go ahead and stitch the shoulders together so here it is after joining the shoulders together and you can notice the excesses half inch excess at the front piece okay all right so the next thing we need to do right now is to cut a very long stripe that is going to serve as our collar all right so i'll just go ahead and cut a very long stripe of about five inches all right and what i will do next is to go ahead and iron the stripe all right i will fold it by half inch on either side on both sides of the stripe okay and after folding it by half inch i'm going to fold it into two okay so just take it to the uh, pressing table and fold in an iron half inch on both side then after folding it you're just going to fold it into two again all right guys so here's the stripe already folded and ironed and the next thing we are going to do is to add the stripe that's going to serve as the collar we're going to add it to the front starting from the front here so what i'm just going to do is to sandwich the front inside the stripe as you can see right here all right i'll put it inside it with half inch 
and it's best to just hold it with a pin or you just join it together whichever way is easy for you all right so when i get to this uh part of the fabric where the front is uh, meeting the back all right remember this half an inch that we left here so i'm just going to put it inside it like so all right so just go ahead and align it like so so when you get to this joining here you are going to take your tape roll and measure out your neckline all right so the neck width that we are using is um six and a half remember that the neck width we used earlier on was 3.25 and in two places because our fabric is on fold we would have six and a half all right so i'll place my tape roll like so meaning that we are going to leave that place as you're sewing when you get to that place you sew it and stop there then you take the other piece and insert it like so all right the other front piece and you insert it and continue sewing all right just continue sewing like so all right so we measure 6.5 for the neck width of the back then we are going to just take the front piece the other side of the front piece and we are going to insert it into the stripe then you are going to continue sewing it it's very simple okay just go ahead and follow the instruction all right guys so here it is after attaching the collar or the stripe to the fabrics you can see the back this is the 6.5 uh, that we left for the back all right and here is the collar for the front so this is what is going to be looking like after you've attached it and guys so the next thing we are going to do is to hem the bottom part and we are going to fold our sleeve and also hem the side of the kimono but first of all make sure to hem the bottom side first of all because we are going to be attaching roaches to the side later on so hem the bottom hem the side and also the sleeve so here guys i've already gone ahead to fold the down part of this jacket i also went ahead to stitch the side as you can see and i added band to the sleeve all right as you can see i've already added band to it and the next thing to do is to add roaches to it and i've already done one part of it okay so you can just go ahead and pull it up like this to add roaches to it and i'll just show you quickly how to go about that using the other side of the fabric all right guys so to make the roaches what you need to do is to open up the side seam all right so just go ahead and open up the side seam you can iron it to make sure that it's well opened and you can measure so you go ahead and measure about 10 inches all right but for this uh, project i'll just use eight inches for the length of the raw cheese so i'll just measure eight inches right here and i'll just chuck it down then i'll get my stripes all right i'll get my stripes and we're going to be using it to make our raw cheese okay i'll just insert it in between the uh side seam like so all right so you can just go ahead and fold it then you stitch it down make sure you're not stitching on the rope inside okay you're only stitching on the side seam allowance all right so just pin the um stripe or the rope pin it to the fabrics you do the same thing to the other side right here put it in between the side seam and you're going to pin it all right at the end of the day you're just going to go ahead and stitch it close at the side and that is what I did exactly at this side, okay? I inserted the ropes and I went ahead to go ahead and just, you know, stitch the sides together and also I secured the rope, all right? So now you're just stitching down, stitch it down, then you secure the rope at the top like so. So right about now, this is what our kimono jacket is looking like. Here is the collar and uh, this is what it's looking like at the front also all right so uh and we've also inserted the roaches to the side and next we are going to insert the chain inside the loops all right guys so to insert the chains we are going to measure from one loop to the other and whatever measurement we have there is the exact uh, chain that we're going to cut all right so i have about five inches there and i'm just going to go ahead and measure five inches on our chain okay 
and so here is where we need our plier so you're going to use the plier to open up the chain so that you can remove the one you measured from heat all right so here is the chain i've already used the plier to open it up and now i'll insert the chain and use the plier to also close it back in okay so you use the plier to open up the chain and use it to close it so on this other hand i would also use the plier to open up the mouth of the chain all right and i will insert it in the other loop then close it again with the plier so guys to attach the next chain all you need to do is to count the numbers of chains that you have here and you are going to plus one more to hit so we have 11 on the first one and the next thing we are going to do is to add one more making 12 okay so i just counted 12 there and i'll open it up with the plier and i will install it on the loops so when we get to the third one we just had one more making 13 chains then we'll install it so we'll just go ahead and follow the same process all the way to the last one right about now guys this is what the back is looking like after attaching all the chains to the last of the loops it's so beautiful guys and you can decide to add the chains maybe all the way to the hip line or you had it fully to the jacket all right and you can also change your chains later on if you want to so guys if you find this video helpful please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel to see more of my videos.